Today we're take a look at the brand new 2018 Roku wireless speakers. Now these speakers won't be available at Roku.com until later this month. They are available for pre-order right now, but I got an early review unit of the new wireless speakers. I thought I'd give you a little look at not only how they work, but how they look in a real living room. So this is my living room here on a TCL 6 series TV I'm testing these out on. And they are very nice looking TVs, uh, speakers. Ignore that little green ring back there. That's actually a antenna I'm using right now to test out. Um, but they have a very nice um, look to them. Nothing flashy about them. And they blend in really nicely to the Roku TV next to them. Let me flip one of these around. There's not a lot to them. They do wirelessly connect. You do have the ability here to connect them to a stand and allow you to uh, mount them on the wall if your TV's mounted there. A little indicator light showing you're paired and a pair bond if you need to ever repair them. They also come with a uh, new set of remotes. So you got a new tabletop remote and a traditional point anywhere Roku remote with voice search. Now, if you have a TV like my TCL 6 series here, that already includes the voice search and the um, ability to control the volume and everything here. There's not really a neat reason to switch to this remote. Pretty much everything's the same except for the branding. And one Roku uh, quick button channel is different. The, um, but if you have an older TV or a TV that doesn't include a voice remote point anywhere capabilities, this will allow you to do that and control your speakers and do voice searches and all kinds of stuff. So it's a nice free upgrade there. The uh, tabletop remote is kind of cool. Especially if you want to use it for a lot of uh, sir, uh, playing music through your sound system. I know for a lot of people, the best sound system in their home is the one connected to your TV. And let's say you have a kitchen next to your living room and you wanted to be able to use it to play music. This little tabletop remote is really meant for music. So you got a couple programmable quick buttons here that you can use to, um, let's say, Spotify, Amazon um, Music, uh, Pandora, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, you can program there. Play pause button, volume up and down. A little voice search, you can say, you know, use voice commands with your Roku there. But it's not really a full replacement for a Roku remote. As you can see, there's no directional pad. So if you're watching video, there's not a lot of options to jump around menus with this, which kind of limits it. But like I said, if you're just looking for something to play music in your kitchen, or let's say you just get up, you run to the kitchen, and your show's getting back on before you get back, you can hit pause real quick to pause the show. So it's kind of a cool tabletop remote there with programmable quick buttons, which I know a lot of people have asked for. Um, and hey, it comes with the cost of the speakers, which are currently um, $199.99 at the time of this recording. So how do you use it? Well, it just uses right off your Roku remote. So you can see I got the little speaker icon here showing control on the speakers. And off the remote, I can uh, volume up, down, do everything you would normally expect from it. Um, it really does seamlessly work. You would not know the difference between using that on your regular TV speakers or the new Roku speakers once you set it up. The other really cool thing is in the advanced sound settings is the ability to have volume leveling. Let me, let me turn this off real quick. And volume leveling does its best to kind of level out all the sound, which is kind of great. So if you're ever watching live TV, you've probably noticed in the past that Commercials are louder than the show. Well, this will do its best to kind of level that off as best you can. Oh, I waited just a moment too long there. Oh. There we go. All right, back to sound. So you can hear this. This is standard sound with the TV. This is volume level. So you see the very low ends have been brought up. The highs have been brought down. And it really does kind of level everything out. There is a night mode, which this one just kind of tries to prevent a... Um, huge explosion sound coming through. So if you're trying to sleep and all of a sudden an explosion happens on the TV, hopefully it doesn't wake you back up. And then, of course, you can just keep it off. Now, I don't think everybody's going to want to use this all the time because it does take away some of the nuances of sounds. Like, here's a fire without, with. So you can definitely see that there is some loss there. The other thing to remember these, these are very powerful speakers. You notice I have it at 7 right now. Crank this thing up. It is quite loud. <laughs> Compared, if this was a regular TV show, you would definitely be blowing your ears. You're, if you're used to, let's say, running your sound at 15 or 20, you're going to have to bring that down to a 6 or 7. When I use my PlayStation, I have to go all the way down to a uh, 5 on that. So, uh, so set up. Let's give a quick demo how that works. So. You just, it's very simple. If you Once you plug in the two speakers, 
Doesn't matter which side you put them on, just throw them on here. Hold down the home button for five seconds and a new menu will pop up. Now this new menu gives you the ability to pair the new remotes if you want to do that. Um, you can select on speaker. I know this has been there for a while, but it's new compared to what you were looking at. And then right here, I already have the speaker set up, but all you would do is um, click on this continue. The, room, the speakers, when you first plug them in, automatically go into pair mode. If you click on the button, it will automatically launch the pair mode or in, on the speakers. But you can click on the button to uh, manually launch them into the pair mode if you need. It took about 20 seconds to connect, another 20 seconds to download an update. And then it said, hey, is the sound coming out of the left or right speaker? And I said, oh, it's coming out of the right. And they said, can you confirm the sound's not coming out of the left? And I said, yep. And I was all set listening to music. So it was super quick, easy, and it just worked. Let me jump real quick. You do have the wireless demo speakers here channel. I won't show a lot of this, but you get the idea that it is a very nice setup. So prevent any copyright issues, I would cut it off there. But this is my review of the Roku speakers. My thoughts on them is it definitely is a huge upgrade. Sorry about the lighting. I wanted to show you what they actually look like in the living room. You can kind of tuck these just slightly behind the TVs, what I did. And it does look very nice in the end here. But as for how they look, not bad. You know, they're... The issue with all sound bars, with all speakers, is it is an additional item on your table here that some people may like or they may not. But I thought it, I think they did a good job here working with the speakers, especially if you have a tabletop like I'm using, set mount them on the wall, kind of helps make it a little less intrusive. It doesn't have a little device sitting directly in front of the TV. Kind of sits either to the side or a little bit back. You can play with their positioning a little if you want for different sound. Um, as far as the high, low, and mid-range, I know a lot of people wanted a base unit on there for um, kind of a subwoofer. And while that would have been nice, the speakers really do a good job of a full, full range of sound included with it. And it may not be perfect, but it is pretty good. Um, I know a lot of people are going to go, I wish there was a 5.1 surround sound system. I would not be surprised to find out that there will be a 5.1 surround sound later. The tabletop remote is pretty cool. Not amazingly great but if you like i said you just want a remote sitting in your kitchen for controlling the music if you're playing it through your tv or you know you're running in the kitchen you suddenly hear the show's back on you can hit pause and stop it before you get there it's nice that they included the point anywhere voice control remote in case your tv did not come with it if it did there's no reason to upgrade to it like i said this tcl remote does everything this one does other than the branding being different and yeah so two thumbs up um, it's definitely a mid-range soundbar, I would call it, and it does a good job for being a mid-range, mid-price soundbar. So I hope this little demo here, showing you it in my living room, helps kind of give you an idea of what to expect from the Roku TV soundbars.